Always start with the sip. Oh, there's a bug on my desk. Cool. Hey. Uh, so. I'm streaming. We're back. Something, something. Yada, yada. Click that for a moment. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I did not. I had, an, I had a pretty weird day. I was very, very tired. I actually slept most of it. Uh, I figured that would happen. So, the stuff I had planned for today, I'm just going to push till tomorrow. And then today, I'm doing Crystal Chronicles because, god damn, I want to play more of this game. Um, yesterday, I started Legend of Mana. That'll probably be continued tomorrow. Uh, it's a very interesting game. I'm enjoying it. And uh, that's kind of it. Really nothing else happened between yesterday and today, aside from me sleeping a whole lot and also eating a really, really good steak dinner. And then my voice just cracked. Hello there. We've caught a great many monsters today. Hey Drax, how you doing? Of course, we're exhausted from it all. But it's been such a good day that we'll give you this. Is that all right with you? No objections whatsoever. Go ahead and take it, friend. Cool, free shit. Chunk of bronze. So we are on uh, year five. Hey, has been exhausted today. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I did not sleep very much last night. I woke up, had to deal with groceries this morning. Went right back to bed, slept until mid-afternoon, watched videos for maybe like two hours, and then ate dinner, and then immediately went back to sleep until like an hour ago. Uh, so I'm not feeling super good right now, but I figured I might as well get a stream and at least get something done today. I don't know if I'll be doing my entire stream plan tomorrow, but hopefully I can because it's going to be the only day I'm free for... only full day I'm going to be free for quite a while. Uh, next weekend I have someone coming over Saturday and Sunday, and then the weekend after that I've got something happening on Saturday, uh, and I don't know what Sunday's gonna be like. Anyway, sharing spoils. This morning I ran into the caravan from Mars Pass. They are always hunting monsters, and sometimes they catch one. Today they shared some of their bounty with me. I know I can't worry for every village out there, but I wonder how their hunt for Mur is going. 45 memories. Memories. Uh, so... My asthma streams are a little weird this year. Uh, the... River over here is dried up, so I can't go here yet. Um, apparently the answer to solving that is up here in Veolu. Which I can't reach because there's no earth element... Anywhere here, or here... So even if I could get over there, I can't get up here past this miasma stream. And I can't get past here because I need water. So I'd have to switch it. So, we're in kind of a kind of a pickle here. I can't really go anywhere except these two sections. And this section leads nowhere. So I could either do missions here, or I can now go to past Kalanda Island and uh, and go to that left island all the way in the corner there. Uh and that's pretty much what I have to do at this point, because the last level 1 dungeon is in there. And then I can start the second cycle of, uh, of dungeons. And I could also access some other stuff. If I can... So, you want to know the secret to growing crops, huh? If I can find a way to get past those miasma streams, which this last dungeon may have. Well, it's all about the soil, right? Soil? Yeah, you can't grow nothing without soil. But you need water, too. It's best to leave your water by the crystal overnight. Water? 
Yeah, of course. You can't grow nothing without water. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously. Wasn't there something else we're forgetting? Let's Sunlight. See. Yeah, what was it? Sunlight! You need love, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, yeah you need love, love too. Oh, yeah, they do. Jake and Andy look exactly the, they're the exact same character model. So are the other two characters. Sorry, just plugging in my uh, headphones into the uh, jack over here. Anyway, the reason I'm going back and forth is because technically there is a scene that I want to witness somewhere that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I think. Farming Secrets 1. I camped with the caravan from Fum and walked with them for a while this morning. Their gentle manner reminded me of my family. When I spoke of my parents' profession, they gave me some advice on farming. My parents are alchemists, so perhaps I'll send some seeds back home. They're not farmers. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, while I'm still in Tipa, let me uh, let me go back home for a bit. Oh yeah, I don't have work tomorrow. I could stay up a little later tonight if I want to. Well, I mean, technically, I could always do that, but I don't really have to worry about waking anyone up. Um, we'll see, though. I don't know yet. Anyway, I forgot this is here. Right at the beginning of the game. Uh, I think that's all for that set. Fantastic Koopo! You got matching stamps! Here's a free memory crystal, Koopo. Shoeless crystal. Hello, Who is Shula? Shula is different tribe and gender. Okay. Okay, so you do have to be the same gender for in game mimics as well. Oh, look, it's the person from that scene we just saw. Don't don't tell me this one for the other character that looks exactly the same. But yeah, um, in the in the original version, I think getting all the stamps were for unlocking a mini game with the Game Boy Advance. But since that's not here, they just give you some in-game mimic crystals that let you take the form of uh, NPCs. Also, while I'm here, whatever looks good, Capo. We're gonna be doing we're giving him a good trim since we'll be going to uh Well, you'll see where we're going. Trimming Simulator. Moogle Trimming Simulator 2020. You could just get like a buzz, a buzz cut, yeah, barber simulator.
Get a good old trim all over. <clears throat> Last one was a little weird. Don't worry, he doesn't have any, uh... He doesn't have any naughty bits. I don't know how they reproduce, but I don't think you have to worry about hurting him. Why is it this taking? It's weird. It's only taking in certain spots. Two more Moogle stamps. He was spraying his behind. He doesn't really have a behind. Probably won't do that mini game. It's important to give him a trim, otherwise he's gonna slow down a lot in hot areas. On the flip side, though, if you go somewhere cold, he'll, he'll move slower if he's, his hair is short. That's the game doesn't really give you a good indication of of his hair length, though. That's kind of weird. And spray painting him changes what spells he'll do. Alright, uh... Gertie the Swindler. Lightning brings the cactus pain, now it all begins again. Round shelter sinks under weight, lands bounties, grace, no camper's plate. Okay. Lonely mushroom bursts into flame in the land that quicksands claim. So there's one more verse to that poem that I'm missing, and I need it. I need it, so I might kind of just fuck around a bit here and, and try to get a random event with it. It's important. I mean, if you play multiplayer, it's not, because Mog's not in multiplayer. He's only there to help you in single player. Sorry, I'm a little I'm a little out of it today. Magni scissors are sharper than those safety scissors. Yeah. Oh hey Izzy. Not a lot of spots where I could like run into people. So I never know. I don't know if I got the Moogle place here. I think I did. Shouldn't be too hard to find. No, I definitely got the one in Alphataria. Hey! I don't really need any of that. I actually sold off a lot of stuff at the end of the last stream just because I didn't need it. Stonehelm cannot craft here. 
I already have an accessory for my Uke now, where it's um it doubles his magic range, which is really good. Goblin Hammer have one already. Mythal Hammer have it. This, however, is pretty good. And I have 400 gil. The long journeys to collect myrrh are a trial that we must endure. I hope, though, that our bright young travelers will someday be free of this burden. So this is Hurdy. He's in yellow clothes, and he sounds and looks like Gertie, so... I'm assuming they're related. I can't remember. Again, I don't remember a lot of the finite details of this game. People are talking about being forgetful, which is interesting. Cannot craft here. What? I might have to go back to Tipa for that one. Pretty sure I've already been in here. He's asleep upstairs, yeah. For some reason, there's three Moogles in here. Alright, no, yeah, I got this one already. No, I don't want to mimic. Don't mimic. So I'm thinking about uh, when uh, the Mario collection comes out, I'll, I might stream 64. I might just do like a, not a speed run, but a plops on the bed, yeah. I love how the Moogles, they just fall backwards to do anything. I was thinking of just maybe giving a 64 quick stream, because I could probably tear through that in like two or three streams while getting all the stars. So I might do like a, maybe like, because it's going to come out the day before I'm busy for Saturday, but not Sunday. So maybe I'll just do like a long Sunday stream of that game. And just be like, hey, I got the Mario collection. Here it is. Check it out. It's exactly the same as the N64 game, except not fuzzy. I'm trying to proc an event with Gertie here. Or was it Gertie? Yeah, Gertie. Gertie's the other one. I still need one bit of his, uh, his verse still. If not, it's fine. I could still continue the game anyway. Um, I just have to kind of meta-knowledge myself through the, the other dungeon. Because there's a step to, uh, the secret that not fuzzy enough is a reason for me to finally play N64 made you sick at times. I mean... I guess I can understand that in retrospect. It was also different, though, because on a CRT TV, you wouldn't notice that's really fuzzy. I guess because back then, everything was fuzzy. It's like that thing I saw about, um... I don't know if you saw it. Uh, in Mega Man 3, there's uh, Gemini Man's level, and he has these black and white stars in the sky. In On old CRT TVs, it actually, like, twinkles, like, different colors. And you're not, and it's 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 a purposely a trick of old CRT TVs that that happens. You see, we're clean out of raw materials for weapons. You just gave me a chunk of bronze. Do you, you want it back? A little money, if you're willing to deal. Thunderball. Of course, I'll sell you one. You could have it for free. Ugh, that's oh, too nice. How very kind of you. We won't forget this. I probably should have sold it. I hope I didn't need that Thunderball for the fucking thing that I was gonna make. Oh, that's gonna piss me off. If I screwed myself. I came across the caravan from Mars Pass. Those stout warriors, even Lilty, suffer a poor hunt now and then. So it went this time. So it went this time, as they had been unable to find all the materials requested by their village. They seemed dispirited, and I had just what they needed, so I gave it to them. It was a good feeling. 
I might have seen that effect when I first played Mega Man Anniversary Collection, but I've since forgotten about it. Well, no, you wouldn't have seen it. If you were playing Anniversary Collection, it would have been the Pixel Perfect version, probably. I don't think the CRT filter would have done uh, replicated the effect. You grew up with a DS, so you didn't experience that. Oh, right. I'm a little bummed that they didn't include the Mario DS stuff in uh, the collection. At least, like, the upscaled graphics and everything, but that's eh, fine. Honestly, I'm just happy to have the games playable on a modern system, so I don't have to worry about, like, busting out older systems to play it. Like I said, it's been 10 years since I played both Galaxy 2 and Sunshine, so I might be down for a replay of both of those at some point. And 64, I played the DS version like five or six years ago. Uh, was I back here for? Sto uh, forging. Nope, I haven't- I still have, uh, enough Thunderballs, or do I? Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, it's the- it's the right number. But I still can't craft it here. I- I must have to go to Shella to make that shit. Played the PS2, though, although it was only your brother. You only played X7, oof. That is... It's unfortunate, because that's the worst- one of the worst Mega Man games. To be honest, though, I played X7 for the first time earlier this year. I enjoyed playing it more than I enjoyed playing Mega Man Legends 2 on PS1. Mega Man Legends 2, despite being a great game in every other aspect, it just the gameplay was just terrible for me. I couldn't stand the dungeons in that game. Yo, I'm, about, I'm straight up about to give up on it and just go ahead. Uh... It's been almost a half hour, and I've made, like, no progress here. Except, except for that one Moogle stamp. It's them again. What? You like what you see? Or is that a stare of disapproval? What do you say? How about a song to usher in your next Murr Festival? Oh, we've had this Just one already. Gil will do. Uh, I'm gonna say no thanks this time. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I already did that event. I don't know why it doubles. I guess it doubles for the memory count, because you could get... The memories only count for a single character. Which is one of the reasons that this game kind of discourages you from playing multiple characters. It's mostly just to get your relationships up in town so you have more facilities. Hana's Dance. I heard music coming from the dirt road. I knew that sound well. It was the couple from Luda, of course. They asked if I could stay for a song, but I was hardly in a festive mood, so I hurried on towards my next destination. 48 out of 999. Again, memories come into play later. Uh, obviously, they're in story reliant, like, right now. They're kind of important to the story because people keep talking about how they're losing their memories. And also when I ran into the Black Knight, he kept saying something about how he couldn't remember. So clearly something's going on. Come on, Gertie. I need you. Maybe they purposely don't make him a show, give his last verse until year six, just so you have to kind of stay within this this uh, confine for the first year. Not first year, but like first uh, fifth year. A few days ago, a monster attacked us from behind. We barely survived the encounter. So. Do take care to watch your back. Remember, now Boros. you journey not for yourself alone, but for everyone in your village. Their lives depend on your safe return with Myr.
Chloe said you enjoyed X7 more than Legends 2. How much was the enjoyment of X7 to you? I had a lot of enjoyment out of how stupid it was. Um, and also, the game... It wasn't great, but it didn't control terribly. Um, it, there's just a lot about it that's, like, not good. I feel if Capcom remade X7 today and Legends 2, uh, they'd both be a lot better. Today I learned of Malboros. Only a few dwell in the Mushroom Forest, but they are regarded as the most wicked monsters around. Lately, though, their strength has waned. Their foul breath is still poisonous, but it inflicts no other ailments. Malboros can wield spells that resemble curses, which at times can be even worse than their notorious halitosis. Ugh. That's a tongue twister. Alright, let's go to... Now, you know what? Let's save the desert and do, uh, some level 2 dungeons. I was gonna go- I was gonna finish level 3, uh, do the last level 1 dungeon first, but... We could finally see some level 2, uh, dungeons here. I should be strong enough for them. Also, if you missed last time I streamed this, I downgraded my weapon just so I didn't have that broken post-game one. But even my current weapon is still pretty powerful. It's only like 10 lower than what they the current one is. Wicked creatures prowl the road along this beautiful riverbank. But nobody's ever seen one. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, Because anybody who happens upon one is promptly... Alright, we, we've seen them all before. There's only two, There's actually only two dungeons I haven't gone to yet. Yeah, so these two are the post game. They're 45 strength. My current two weapons are 30 and 31. That's what I could currently make. So, either I make stronger weapons before this, or I get to the post game and then I just start using these. Pick up money. Perfect. See, so yeah, I finally got an accessory, which is the... Okay, there we go. Twisted Spectacle, which lets me aim my spell twice as far, which is really useful. Anyway, every time you come in here, the puzzles reset, so you can't exactly get the cheap way through. Uh, but other than that, yeah. The enemies are going to be a little tougher now. There may some, be some of the old ones still, but there's going to be plenty of new ones as well. And I believe enemies upgrade too once the cycle upgrades, so the ones that are here will be stronger as well. Is that mod carrying it in its mouth? No, he's holding it. He's got, um, he's got little tiny arms. My magic is still a little too weak to be relying on that here. What happens if you start stepping- if you step outside the circle? Uh, I'll show you, hold on. Stone of fire. Stone of blizzard. Drop it. So, the world is covered in miasma. These little crystals that you see on the chalices and the big ones you see in town generate a field that block it. And the whole point of this game is that you're collecting myrrh from the trees to fuel the crystals. Because what will happen is when you fill the chalice up, you can make your town's crystal uh, energized for another year. So, if you step outside the protective area of the crystal, uh, you just start taking damage. In this case, I'm taking half a heart for every about two, sec two or three seconds. If you're in a safe spot, uh, you'll gradually refill health, which isn't worth it because in almost every case you're gonna find cure pretty quickly. So you can just cure yourself. <laughs> Goes down fast, but also most of the game you're not gonna be outside of the circle. That's what makes multiplayer in this game so interesting, because in multiplayer you do not have Mog. So one person is always going to have to carry the chalice. 
Stone of Cure, which is absolutely useless to me. So Stone of Cure, well, not useless, it's good for fusion, but uh, Cure can only be upgraded in multiplayer, so there's no point in me having more than one, since I have the Cure Ring, I always have one. Another Stone of Cure. Also, Spell Fusion works different in, um, in, uh, multiplayer. So, in... You've probably seen this already, but in single player, if I just add two spells that are compatible with each other, I can fuse them into a new spell, like Gravity. In multiplayer, you cannot do that. What happens instead is that two players have to cast magic on the same spot, and then it'll turn into the higher level spell. So it's actually kind of better in that regard, because you can have more combos while using the same amount of spots for your own spells. But it also means that, like, you cannot cast Holy without having your friend cast the other spell needed for it. So if you don't remember the spells needed to cast a specific fusion, uh, you're not going to do well. So if you see that happen, that means I'm at the edge of the ring. Uh, that won't hurt me. It just means that if I walk out of it any further, uh, I'm going to t start taking damage. Didn't do anything either. He did it. Wow. That yeah, thing's just resistant to all magic, huh? But yeah, at this point, I've done every dungeon level one except for the last, except for two of them. Um the last dungeon in the game, and then the dungeon that I could reach by taking the boat down to the final island. Um, which, that I can do now, but there's a key point that I'm missing for it that I need to continue the story. Oh, that's new. That enemy wasn't here before. That's the power of second cycle enemies, yeah. Up uh, oh, there we go. Ice brand. I don't. That's not the ring. What rings do I still need? I have three of them, so I need the blizzard ring, and then I think the last one's the life ring, which gives you rays automatically, which doesn't seem worth it, especially for single player. But I, I only need the blizzard ring to have one of each element. Iron Belt. Yeah, there's the easy version. Here's the spiked version. See if this works. Nope. 
It's funny I'm playing two action RPGs now, this and Legend of Mana. Which I enjoyed. Legend of Mana was pretty fun. I've heard mixed things about it, but... Uh, I'm kind of having fun with it. It's just this, the, the progression is a little weird. Like, I can't really figure out what to do, aside from just visit random dungeons until something happens. At least this game gives you direction on what you're supposed to be doing. says Fira for some reason. No, you know what? I kind of did too. And I said Blizzara and um, Firaga, but it's Firaga, Fira, Blizzaga. It's it's really interesting to hear these characters pronounce the uh, spells. If I don't get any more rings, hearts, or pouches, which there's only two more hearts and one more uh, pouch or pocket, um, and one and two more rings, one of which you only get from a boss, so I know I'm not going to just randomly pick it up, uh, I'm going to start focusing on taking the artifacts that increase magic, just because I really need my Yuke to get his magic stat up. Oh, they drop more gill too. I guess it'll be easier to farm at this point. pretty obvious here, but anything, uh, any item you have here is a single use, it doesn't automatically replenish after it's gone, which is kind of silly because you could just open the command menu at any time and add more, um, but in, um, in multiplayer, uh, obviously the game won't pause, so it's a little, uh, a little more risky to do that. That said, I feel like in single player mode, they should have just let it that you auto load one back in or something if you want. iron. The other thing about this is that uh, when a dungeon increases its cycle after it's beaten once and twice, uh, some artifacts may no longer be available. And that's kind of an issue because... There are some artifacts that only spawn in certain dungeons at certain times, so if you fail to pick it up on, a, on the first cycle, you'll never get another chance at it, unless you go back before it upgrades. And that makes it even more annoying for multiple characters, because that means if you want to get it with every character, you have to do it over and over with the same with different characters until it up, before it upgrades. So the game does kind of put an emphasis on the grind, but it's... It's not worth it. It's worth making multiple characters, but not worth playing them. That's such a shortcut back. Let me go there. Round corner.
Ow. Silver Bracer. Well, I got another slot now, but since I already have the Moogle Pocket, that's not really going to do much. I think that's an accessory. much damage that's doing. Eh, about, about as much as hitting him, I suppose. Took the same amount of time. music this whole soundtrack is like this it's very uh, renaissance right moogle house left extreme danger kubo the mercury is to the left kubo Finally used to our new place, Kubo. There is an actual Moogle nest in here somewhere, and I can't remember where it is. That's too far. That that's that leads to the boss right there. Yeah. Once you hit once you see the red loading boxes, that means there's a boss ahead. I thought the Moogle Nest was over here, but I can't find it. Map showed something behind the fireplace, I think. Wait, it did? I don't think it... Are you sure? I'm tired, it's your turn. Ow, ow, ow. No, that's just this part over here. This map... The map's a lot more exaggerated than it looks. Like, this part over here is just this part between these posts, and the reason this log here, it doesn't show up on the map. Uh, 
I'm gonna search for the Moogle Nest while I'm here. So water, if you throw that on the ground, it empowers ice attacks, and it empowers uh, electricity. And then the oil, which is the black stuff, uh, empowers fire. I can't examine anything if, if he's carrying it. Alright, let me look where this was, because I, I saw it the other day. You have to go to sleep. Alright, you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Where is the Moogle here? Oh, the Moogle nest is back down. Okay. I misread. I misread where it was. It's down that long path that leads nowhere. That has the treasure chest at the end of it. No, oh, hurry up. Keep up with me. to know that was there. That's the only time I've ever seen something like that happen. Hello, Bubba. Stamp me. I still need one more for that set. again. See, it's weird because, like, the Moogle Nest here really throws you off because they have those two Moogles living at the end and they're like, oh, well, we're not here to stamp your card. We're just here to live. Boss intros are any different either. 
In terms of cinematics and story, this, the dungeons are all still the same. But the bosses are indeed harder. Uh, I think they have new attacks, too, on higher cycles. much of uh, anything here. Alright. That's new. I don't think that's, that was the first fight. easy, and it is the first dungeon, so even on a higher cycle, it's not really too bad. It's also very short. HD tree piss. So yeah, now in uh, another two years, this dungeon will be upgraded to level three, and after that, it just stops upgrading. I think it does still take two to three years for the tree to regenerate after clearing it, but um, it permanently stays level three once it's that way. Every dungeon does that except for the very last one, which... It's just the final dungeon. You go through it once and you're done. Hail Moogle at your service, Kapo. Kapo. Theoretically, I could go to the final yeah, dungeon go, this year. If I went to the dun the one dungeon I haven't cleared yet. Oh, it's for my father, nice. If I go to the one dungeon I haven't cleared yet and do the puzzle there that I don't technically have all the pieces for yet. Uh, I could bum rush right to the final dungeon this year, but it's also not worth it because I am underpowered. The Gigon. How are you doing? I heard the Gigon River dried up. Grandfather once told me that it happened a long time ago, too. I don't remember what he said we should do. Take the Star Carrot. That's what I should do. You don't remember? Useless. Wow, that would be such a douche thing to say. They said send seeds, so I'm sending seeds. Here's a fruit seed. Got your reply, Capo. Capo. So long, Capo. 
Kippo. Hundred and twenty. Waddle waddle. Okay, Moogle Pocket, already got it, so I can't take it again. Oh look, it's to the point now where I'm not even getting artifacts, I'm just getting uh materials. Uh so my choices are just pluses. I will definitely be taking the magic plus three. Plus five is the highest you can get from any single uh artifact. And I think, as I mentioned, the magic rings not only give you the ability, but also give you magic plus one when you pick it up. They just don't tell you that. So it's always worth taking them, because you get a spell and you get a, a plus one artifact. Today I defeated the giant crab at the river bell path and quickly collected a drop of myrrh. It was an easy fight, so I spent a peaceful interlude out over a light meal. I was a little surprised. I never considered myself a fighter. Quickly collected. Little boy's all grown up. Is that the male Moogle on the now loading screen? I actually don't know. That might be Stiltskin, the uh, tutorial Moogle. Who's actually right here. A lot of the Moogles in this game wear those weird patterns. I'm not sure if that's paint or if they're wearing clothes. Oh no, it's not Stiltskin, never mind. He's wearing, uh, way more ornate stuff on him. Where to? Is that a fact? Well, there's a vast desert on Linari Isle where Luda lives. If you can bring me a cactus flower from there, I'll give you a big discount. 300 kill. Well, that's not too bad. It was worse to go to uh, Kalanda. It was 500 for Kalanda. Um, and yeah, the sulfur for Kalanda and the, the cactus flower for Luda. Uh, if you could find those items, which are more common the more you go to them, uh, you, get, um, you get a discount on the uh, boat travel. And if you get both of them, uh, you could buy like a one-time pass for 10,000 gil which then just give you free travel. Which doesn't seem worth it, because the amount of money I'm going to spend on boat rides now is probably not that much. I'm probably going to the uh, the other island three times, both of them three times, which is 800 gil each. So that would be 1,600, 2,400. And then assuming that there's a post-game dungeon for each area, which is how it works, I think, that's another 800. So it's like a quarter of what I would have to spend to get that pass. But I might buy it if I have nothing else to buy. I'm torn. Should I go to the Goblin Wall here, or should I go to the Mushroom Forest? Because the Mushroom Forest is technically a first-year dungeon, Hello while there. Goblin Wall was the second one. We've caught a great many monsters today. Of course, we're exhausted from it all. But it's been such a good... Is that all right? No objections. What are you going to give me this time? Shiny Shard. Oh, they didn't give me no diary entry for that one. That's that's an entry you can only get once. So my choices are go to Mushroom Forest or go to Goblin Wall. Maybe I'll go to Goblin Wall just so I can clear this area out of level twos. I don't think either of these elements would help that much. There are six games in the FFCC series. Yes, uh, there are two WiiWare, like, tower defense, like, tower castle simulator games, like, where you, like, live is, like, it's My Life as a King and My Life as a Dark Lord. They're kind of just, like, stories where, I don't know what the story of any of them are. Um, and then there's a DS game that takes place before this one. I've never, yeah, I've never touched any of the other Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles games. This is the only one I've ever been involved with. 
as in played, or watched it being played. I might be open to playing the DS one at some point. I'm not sure if this if if I'm really desperate for new games at some point. Did I take my uh? I did. I took the Phoenix down off. because it's, it's short. Why is there a chalice there? Yeah, the game, the Switch version of this game, I'm not sure if it's every version, but it has a little trouble loading in areas quickly. Thankfully, once it's once that lag spike at the very beginning goes away, uh, it fixes itself. What's the special mission here? Pick up items. Perfect. Easy. I don't know if I've ever found the Moogle Nest here. are cleared out that were here originally. It might take till the third cycle to do that. Oh god. Mithril, nice. Oh, I have another Phoenix down. Oh, I must have picked one up and it used that one first.
coins. Smash the head. What, so no goblin head? Holy, we don't really need holy here. I should probably take off the thunder ring. It's really not necessary unless I know I'm gonna need thunder. I just have it on because it's my favorite spell. Rocks might be gone, because there were some in here, weren't there? I don't remember. Mana was here, not, uh... Ooh, Flame Tongue. Neat. I remember this was the dungeon where Mana came by. Oh, right, I couldn't get that one, because that was blocked off. You have to enter from the other direction to get that. That's the door I think I need to go through to get to the next room. Zapping the life out of something could be really satisfying. Yes. Um... It can be, but you have to mind the elemental crap in this game. I was wondering what was in here before, but yep, I figured the Moogle Nest would be in here. Otherwise, it's just a, a useless path. Still need one more for that set. helpful in this dungeon because I already have it. Mental shield. Pretty much anything that's not for my yuke I sell just because I'm not gonna... Oop, I'm at the edge of the dungeon. Just because I don't see myself um, really putting any time in with other characters and if I do, it'll probably just be in multiplayer. max amount of years in this game. No, you could take as many as you need. The thing is, years will only advance once you've cleared us, like, specific dungeons that are open three times. So there's really no penalty for it. Some stories do evolve over time, but, uh, you're really in no hurry. And the longer you take, the more memories you get, too, which is ultimately a good thing. Oh shit, well, looks like I need holy after all. Um... No, that's not it. What was holy again? No. No. There it is. It's rays on the bottom, element on the top. Unholied himself, okay. Diamond ore. 
So yeah, any enemies that are transparent, you need to cast Holy on. Usually it's just ghosts, but I believe, um... The Black Flan are also transparent at first. Is, uh, is pretty sassy. I passed on those in the last dungeon, so they probably don't give me anything too good. Probably just like a plus one. What do I have equipped for my weapon right now? The Goblin Hammer? Yeah. And then there's Mithril Hammer, which is minus one. But it gives me a better... I think it gives me a better focus attack? Maybe. I don't know. The thing is, I barely ever use focus attack, so it's probably better for me to just use the goblin hammer. As far as I can tell, it looks like all the rocks are gone, so I might be able to access areas I couldn't before. Could take it out quicker. Yeah, a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Neat. Almost nowhere near that range. I was like, what is this? Why is that there? Huh? What am I looking at? Sage's staff. Ooh, that's probably a good magic, uh, a ma good magic up. That's a good uh, upgrade. But again, I already have that. Lightning Soleil. Or Salad. I'm not sure if that, that's pronounced. Okay, I don't think I've been over here because this part was blocked off before. Enemy's just a recipe for disaster. If it's anywhere near your other enemies, you're just screwed. is just to open that chest. Cool. Well, time to go around and get whatever's in there. But I believe there's also more chests available. Because originally there was like two or three spots that were blocked off and they're all available now. Let me carry the chalice, Capel. the backtracking, but whatever. I've done everything this dungeon has to offer. Oh, shit, that wasn't the right way to go. 
to go. Said you wanted to carry the chalice, not carry the jam chalice. Okay, what do I have the most of here? I have two blizzards, perfect. Oh no, I don't have the blizzard ring, shit. Never mind, so I can't get anything above a level two spell. Moogle Haste. I keep forgetting Haste is a spell in this game, but it's it requires three slots to fuse it, and I can't remember what the spell is. It does work pretty well, though. I should uh, I should use it more often. I just can't remember how to fuse it. On the map, but you can't actually go in them. Oh, come on! There should be an accessory that like lets you not get knocked out of magic casting. death.
That's worth a drink of water. Your service, Capo. Capo. Here you go, Capo. Letter for my mama. Fruit seed. We already planted some. Do you want us to take them out and plant the new one? Uh, yes. I don't know what fruit they're planting now, but we'll get some more. Uh, well, what don't we have? Fruit, 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 vegetable, vegetable. That looks like a potato seed. So I guess you could have one seed of each type per family. Oh, my father loves me. Good. He might give me the ultimate weapon schematics. Also, yeah, I think the loading screen is the male Moogle just because of the uh, the triangle pattern on the side. Okay, so I already have Sage's stat. I already have all of these, so I can't get anything. Uh, well, Magic plus 5 is the obvious one. I'll take the Dark Matter. Perfect. That gets my Magic up to almost 30 now, so I'm almost on par with my Strength. Actually, no, that's not the Male Moogle. The Male Moogle had triangles. That is squares. I don't know what design that is. Interesting. I think I got all the story beats. Like, I think you can only get the story beats at the beginning of the year, and then they're all just random after that. This music's kind of synonymous with random scene, as opposed to uh, see, a character theme. Out of raw what do you need now? Cockatrice scale? Uh, I'll sell you this one. Price. We'll take it. I mean, I don't. I barely have money, so two thousand is pretty damn good. Not sure what Moogle that is. Uh, it could be many. I mean, there's a bunch of different Moogles. The ones in the houses all have different patterns. It could just be a custom one for this loading screen. I actually can't remember what the loading screen in the GameCube version looked like. Tell us something. I came across the caravan from Mars Past. Well, we've already read that next paragraph. I had what they needed, but I had fought long and hard to acquire it, so I decided to sell it for a fair price. A beating. I defeated the Goblin King at Goblin Wall and quickly collected a drop of myrrh. Mog was worried about the beating I took, but I somehow emerged from the fray with my life. Although I have won a number of battles, I must always be vigilant. Well, if I want to do anything, I'm going to need to change my uh, element to water. You must be more careful when you come to well, cross. driving so fast, it made my head spin. Yes, we were in some haste. But the driver on the right has the right of way, does he not? We don't follow your rules, you thick-headed tin can! Looks like the peasants should learn some manners. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever happened to the enlightened rule of the Lilties, huh? Yeah. Come now, that was uncalled for. Ah, forget we about it. Rest. You're in a hurry, right? Get out of here. Still, the rules clearly state Oh, yes. Come to think of it, we are. Wait, why do they have that? It didn't seem like the dialogue should have overlapped there. It just did. But be sure to heed the rules of the road from now on. I 
just realized all these caravans have the wheels like tilted inwards. That doesn't seem like it'd be very effective. Oh, hello there. You saw all that, huh? <laughs> we just couldn't let those city slickers walk all over us. Of course, the monster we were hunting got away. We would have had it if those reckless caravanners had just watched where they were going. I thought they were going to ask me to choose who was right. I'm like, I don't know. I don't drive. Had a scuffle. I found the caravans from Alphataria and from Mars Pass shouting at each other. Though all were Lilties, it seemed like the city folk and the country folk don't get along. Who can blame them? They've each chosen different paths in life. I mean, I thought the whole point was to get along. I could go to the desert now, but it's, it's not worth it because I gotta go back there anyway later. The thing is, if I clear it now, by the time, even if I get the secret next year, I'd have to make a return trip there while there's no drop of murder to get. And I could also just, like, you know, meta-knowledge meta myself through it, but it's also like, uh... Why bother? <laughs> I should play the game the way it's meant to be played. Actually, it's meant to be played with me going there, and then going back later. So I'm kind of bucking that, but also uh, doing stuff that I wouldn't need outside knowledge to do. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to go to the mines. We're going to do the Mushroom Forest. I think there's a new spot in it open now, too. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Once you get um, into the second cycle, uh, you start blowing through the game a lot quicker. So there's a lot less setup now. In fact, once I go to the desert and get the thing from the desert that I need, um, the game moves a lot more quickly because there's a big limitation that gets removed. Oh, look, the path over here is open now. This was closed previously. That's a new enemy. Pink, uh, or is that one new? I can't remember. One of these is new. Probably this one. with focus attacks, all right. there before. Or 
maybe it was. Who knows? It went down like a bitch, so... This way's a dead end. I should go this way first. That's new. Talking about the small enemy, obviously, not the big one. Oh, but he went down first anyway. Okay. Dropped nothing for it either. too long. Why'd that one go down so quickly? I'm so confused. Magic shockwaves, maybe that's why. Incapacitating. Maybe they're weak to- maybe they're strong against magic. Nothing. I got nothing for coming down here. Let me carry the chalice, Capel. Because you'll just complain. to it. Kind of hits around. Okay, water element. I'm already water, so it doesn't matter. Is 
that just leads back down to the beginning. We don't need that. Really? This area over here is still blocked off, though. That's probably not until cycle three, then. It's nice for this dungeon, but I already have that, so it's ultimately pointless. It's gonna get me nowhere. So the last dungeon of the game actually has a lot of artifacts, but you can't take any. When you beat the game, you just lose all of them. So it's entirely there just to bolster your stats for that dungeon. On the plus side, uh, my magic is 30 without that, so I'm almost up to the same strength. If I equip this, my strength will go to 40, yeah. There's no equipment that increases your magic, unfortunately, so that's why it's always better to get magic upgrades instead. down there is where that other path leads that I can't get to yet. When I'm standing still, it doesn't do anything to me, but when I'm moving, it immediately fucks me. That's a complete set. Congratulations, Gabo. Genk Wax Crystal. That's a little tea, I think. Gabo. Hello, Gabo. Yep, different tribe. Male little tea. Five of that one. One, two, three, four. There's four Ukes. Five of. I'm assuming that's Clavats. 
nine, no, 11 little T's, Jesus. And then seven, uh, seven Selkies. Oh, wait, are these Clavots? Actually, that might be Selkies at the end. It's very uneven. As long as I can get Amidati and Denom as costumes, I'll be happy. Artifact gave me that, but if I don't have it yet, I gotta take it. Locked out of it thing is really annoying. Novice's weapon, awful pickup. Requires minimal amounts of uh, JLing to charge. Okay, yeah, it's a material for crafting. Alright, uh, I need clear, definitely. What can I equip for this? Those are times three. year five. Yet? 
Time to get better? for Faraga. Can't test it. Focus attack. Well, whatever. Oops. Ready for sipping. Take a big old swig of uh, of myrrh. Yes, but I won't get to. Hail Mughal at your service, Capo. Capo. Here you go, Capo. Sebegius. Alright. Vegetable seeds, yes. Send an item. This time I will send. If I sent fruit and veggies. Oh, where's the wheat? Shit. Well, whatever. I'll send a piece of iron. Everyone loves me except my brother Heinrich because I chastised him. Don't keep me waiting, Capo. Got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. Okay, Earth Pen already had that, so I no good. Chris, I already have that, so I can't get that. Moogle Pocket, can't get that. So my choices are Strength plus one, 
defense plus two or magic plus one. I might as well go just the magic plus one then. Kind of a lame reward, but they can't all be winners. Just gotta build up that magic and any by any means possible. I don't have anything to say. We've seen this like four times already. Five times. It's good. Five years have passed since I first set out. There was a man who lost his memory and spent his days chasing some sort of light. How could anyone go on without any memory at all? Perhaps he hunts the light because, stripped of his memory, he has nothing left. If he still had his memory, he would surely have chosen a different path. Year six. Fire, water, we need earth to get over there. So, I mean, we could get over there this year.
Everything is two uh, stars now, except Mount Kalanda. That milk, thank you. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. You're back. Designed for mithril armor, nice. Cast minus ten. Interesting. So looks like the lightning sleigh is still the only thing that, uh, or salad is the only thing that I uh, really can equip right now. That gives me any sort of advantage. Shella. Wow, one of the worst items to get. I don't need it because I'm a Yuke. I can get into Shella for free. Holding on to these, I guess. This just changes what we'll get from the tree. I definitely don't need. 
shields we don't need. There we go. Spiel. It's become hard to say goodbye. Perhaps it's just my old age. He never returned, you know. His final letter came from a place called Magmel. We've not heard from him since. Every time we hear of someone traveling about and offering aid to people, we think of him. But it is likely no more than a chance resemblance. After all, he would never be satisfied with such simple endeavors. He always held fast to his goals. Goals are important, but you must remember to come back to us. It is not so much the myrrh we await as the return of our caravan. Curious it is, though, that Magmel. It's a place right out of legend. It is though our scholar has stumbled into a land of fable. I wonder where this Magmel is. I have not seen it yet. Perhaps it awaits somewhere that the caravan cannot currently reach. Today I defeated a Marlboro at the Mushroom Forest and quickly collected a drop of myrrh. It was an easy fight, so I spent a peaceful interlude over a light meal. Oh, I see. We're having the, uh... It's, we're, we're starting to enter the repeat messages now. Okay, we've already read that, too. You're not getting away this time! My memories. I will die a hollow man. Where will my spirit go? Is this the end? Light, answer me. I'm no light. My name is Leon Esla. It's the boy from Alphataria. Esla? L Leon? Yes. I found it. Leon Esla, my memory, and Jonah, my... I'm sorry. I didn't want it to end this way. As long as people live, Ryam will make them suffer. Ryam. Oh, that's an interesting way of pronouncing that. I thought it was Rayam. Of the crystal. What must I do? Interesting change of pace there.
Today I witnessed the death of the Black Knight. A boy named Leon Ezla was riding with the caravan from Alphataria. He drove his spear into the night. The Black Knight seemed at peace when he died. I, I wish I knew why. Greetings, my good friend. I hope all is well with you. That's Hurdy. What? Oh, that's I look like a preacher, do I? I suppose this outfit fools people quite well. It's me, Gertie. These are my brother's clothes. Oh. Why your why is your hair oh, yellow I never then? I told you. I have an older brother. Some mornings I wake and see these clothes hanging there. <laughs> Unlike me, my brother is kind and sincere. So why is your like hair a different color though? Amazing. What do you think it was? Trying to save the world? He tried to rid the world of all miasma. An extraordinary goal, don't you think? But quite a difficult one. I heard that he came very close to uncovering the truth. Hmm. Actually, I have no memory of anything besides my brother. Memories of him are the only things within me that are true. Tell me, Gertie, when was the last time you saw your brother? I can't stand the emptiness, so I make up lies to cover it all. But if the things I say turn out to be true, then they're likely memories I've forgotten. Oh, it looks like they're leaving. Take care. May we meet again. Wait, no, I need your other verse. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The meteor light, great shadow. Esla, where is it? Who are you? Ryan? Esla? You cannot defeat Ryan. Whoa. You are not yet ready. Your memories are not enough. Oh, yes. I nearly forgot. Three rocks, the winter's kiss await. One by one, they find their mate. Ah, I forgot to tell you, I've never met my brother. If you ever run into him, kindly let me know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. You've never met your brother, yet you find those clothes hanging there, and you wear them, and your hair was different colored. Daydream. Was I dreaming, or did I really see something on Gertie's back? He mentioned something quite strange. He said he had a brother whom he had never met. What can he mean by that? Three rocks, the winter's kiss await. One by one, they find their mate. That's the last, uh... That is the last, uh, piece of the puzzle that I need for the, for the uh... The desert. Good day. Look, this is the same model that we showed you previously. It's a year old. As you can see, its surface has turned green, and it has begun to emit an unpleasant odor. Listen. We have explained that this is a model of the world. We believe that this new development represents miasma. Yes, it must be miasma. No, it's mold. I'll eat it and see. kind of want to just fuck him, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I want to humor him. You are most astute, friend. Some historical texts indicate that the ancient world was free of miasma. We therefore concluded that the world model reflects this evolution accordingly. 
we anticipate that clues to the fate of our world may be gleaned from the model's further developments. Is the suspense not thrilling? It really doesn't matter. If you just answer differently, they give you different dialogue. It doesn't stop the story from progressing. World Model 2. A long shadow stretched across the dearth path. Dearth? Dirt path. It belonged to Amadati. He pointed to a loaf of moldy bannock and declared that the mold represents miasma. I was a bit weary of this by now, but I humored him. For all his quirks, he is a surprisingly clever man. I'm still missing two, uh, stories. I need fire. Checking something else on the uh, computer real quick. This place is bone dry, as in empty. Nothing here. were the lords of this land. They say we built this very road for the wars of that age, and that the fighting was long over by the time the road was completed. Today, I travel this road as a caravan. I take pride in that. I would rather march down this road seeking to protect my people than I would to attack someone. Wouldn't you? I suppose so. Definitely. Yes. By walking this road, we build a new road to our future. Lilty history. Today I walked for a while with the caravan from Alphataria. The entire time, Sol spoke nothing of but his fondness for the days long gone. 
I suppose some people never change. All sorts of events now. Kind of worth it to just get all the events at the front of the year, then you don't have to worry about running into them randomly. A few days ago, a monster attacked us from behind. A move. We barely survived. So, to remember, they're like. Today I learned of Moo. They seem cute at first glance, but the claws on their forelegs give them away as carnivores. They mainly attack with their claws, but their fluffy tails can hurt if they fling you out with, uh, into the miasma. What enemy is that? I haven't run into an enemy that flings me. I'm on this menu, I'm actually gonna save too. Guard, take that! I'm busy training. Stay back, or else. Take that, and that. Wait, I'm busy right now. Nothing else to say after you just killed the Black Knight? My husband makes so little, it's hard to make ends meet. I'd watch my spending if I were you. You're planning to take over your family business, right? Having one is a fine thing. So many kids have no desire to follow in their parents' footsteps. It's such a waste. Really? I wish my kids weren't so picky. There's so many kinds of food that are good for them. The master at my shop pushes this really hard. Why, he's practically a slave driver. Get some good forge in here. Forge in, not fortune. We must. I'll play with daddy sometime. My mom is helping my dad. I wish she would stay home with us more. I cannot seem to put names to faces lately. Perhaps I've been studying too much. More memory issues with people. That's not good.
But just the Black Knight lost his memories, and he, that's what drove him insane. Everyone else seems to be losing memories and talking about forgetting stuff all the time. Every day I fret over whether my patrons are satisfied. My daddy's a great blacksmith. When I grow up, I want to be a blacksmith too. Um, what am I doing standing here? Or what am I doing standing here? Sorry. Interesting. He seemed to be forgetting what his job was. Hold on. None may pass. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. The castle that you never get to go into. There we go. Already got the goblin hammer. Magic damage plus one. I don't have any jades for it though. All right, cool. So I got a better helm. It gives me plus one defense, and it gives me a uh, or plus two defense. And it gives me lightning resistance. Good day. Um, what was it that I meant to do? Oh. Oh. Cool, coming out here was worth it. Father said there's no such thing as a girl blacksmith, so I want to be the first. My defense is pretty beefy, all things considered. I've definitely uh, stepped it up. Before. Uh -huh. yes. I'm not gonna go to Veolu just yet. Actually, wait, let me go to the Miasma stream just to see if uh, Stiltskin's there. We'll be going to Veolu this year, but not, uh, not yet. Finally, go to Luda. Well, the Luda. My pockets. on the crop, I think. Don't it vary depending on the weather that year? The 
weather. Yeah, it does depend on the weather. And can't you tell by the color and shine? Color and shine? Yeah, you can't tell without looking at them. Wasn't there something else important? Um, yeah, I reckon there was. I think that the best time to eat something is when it looks good. Can't argue with that. Cropping 101. Farming Secrets 2. At dawn, I met the caravan of from Foom. Every time we meet, the conversation turns to nature or farming. Everything about them is down to earth. Hearing their stories, I can't help but feel that such a life is a... Excuse me. Hearing their stories, I can't help but feel that such a life is a good way to survive in this miasma-infested world. Oh, I need fire. Shit. Let me go back up there. I knew I forgot to check. And who builds these paths here? That just happen to get infected with the miasma streams. I've been thinking about something, so that Mario collection's coming out next week. Or, ne yeah, next week, I guess. End of next week. How is the flood gonna work in Mario Sunshine without having analog triggers? I wonder if there's gonna be a way to, like, reduce the power of it. Rather than going full blast all the time. Taking her out, so all aboard. Alright, we're going to Luda. back there yet. Lenari Isle. So this area has both a town and a dungeon. Is the uh, Selkie Town? So we know where the uh, we know where the Lilty Town is. We know where the Clavat Town is. That's Foom. Lilty is the uh, is Alphataria. Veolu or Shella is the Ukes. And 
this is the Selkie Town. And the other places are just settlements with multiple people. Which is just, uh... Tipa and Mars Pass. What is it? This is no place for outsiders. I wouldn't stay here if you were you. Tell anybody, but I'm not that good at jumping. Hey. I'm gonna practice so hard, I'll be the greatest selkie ever. Hey. Hello. I heard some travelers mention a Black Knight a while back. It was quite some time ago, actually. I doubt you could beat such a man. You have to train hard if you don't want to lose. I hate to say this, but he's already been killed. See, we Selkies don't ever have to win. We just have to make sure we never lose. Even with the world covered in my asthma, these kids could never lose their cheer. Watching them makes me think the world isn't so bad after all. They both say the exact same thing. <laughs> hmm? What? What do you want with me? Oh, you want to buy something, do you? Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? What'll it be? Uh, I... Oh, I have everything here. Oh, I don't have Jade yet. Let's buy a couple pieces of that. And watch to make sure monsters stay out of the village. Of course, I run a little side business of my own. I also sell fine goods to visitors from abroad, you see. Mighty weapon, victorious weapon. A design for a weapon anyone can wield. I don't think that's better than what I have already. I think most of this stuff is kind of up to par with what I have. Hello. I want to grow up and, uh, well, I don't know why, but I want to grow up. Hello. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Could this be Ennui? Ennui? I wonder why boys are so eager to grow up. I guess that's why they're always so childish. I may not look it now, but I too once traveled with a caravan. Long journeys were full of hardship, but there were lots of good times too. They say the Selkies came from the sea, and to the sea we will someday return. I wonder, perhaps the other tribes simply hope to be rid of us. Man, they have such a dour look, outlook. on in. Hello, Kapo. Kapo. 
Nice, that's another set. Congratulations, Gabo. Da yes is crystal. Da yes. Da yes is a selkie, male selkie. One Moogle house where he's sleeping upstairs and the rest are just all, like, there. Diary entry. Luda, this is the village of the Selkies. At first, I felt a little scared. Even now, I shiver when I remember the old pier and the sharp winds. I also shivered when I realized that someone had snatched my wallet. I never want to come here again. Did someone seriously snatch my wallet? Do I not have money? Lightning brings the cactus pain. Rotted shelter sinks under weight. Lonely mushroom bursts into flame. Three rocks the winter's kiss await. One by one, they find their mate. So from the sound of it, you need all three elements and, uh... And, uh... Gravity. Gertie, a swindler with no memory of his past aside from his preacher brother Hurdy, whom he has never met, mysteriously recites poems. Hurdy. This preacher walks the land, guiding the troubled and rec reconciling the world's truths, reconnected reconnect somehow to a fool from back home. I guess he's talking about Gertie. He. I, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. Why was Gertie wearing Hurdy's clothes and why was his hair the same color? Like, I get that he saw the clothes there, but where was his clothes? It's late, but you know what? I might do the last dungeon here. Can I, uh, get an event here? No, you can't. There's no in-betweens. The Lenari Desert. Earth element. Here we go. This is the last one star dungeon. The last new dungeon of the game until the very end. We met a man who said his dream was to find a great treasure hidden in the desert. Everyone burst into laughter and told him there was no such thing. But the moment I saw this place, I felt his dream would surely come true. 
The desert glittered like a sea of jewels under that shimmering sun. Sandfall. Where is the sand coming from? Defeat enemies with spell fusion. Ooh, interesting. It might actually be a little easy because, uh, well, actually, no, it's not. This is very much supposed to be the last area you go to. Fire. Cool knife, Faraga. three elements. Place seems special.
kill. Eight kill. This spot seems special. It's a cactus, I'm assuming. So if we cast lightning on it. Interesting. What was it? Something Winter's Kiss or whatever? Brings the uh, things... Whatever. One by one they meet their mate. That was wrong. Maybe I have to do them in order. Maybe that's why I have to find the mushroom first. Spawn now. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've died. Doesn't seem like it. Might be safe here. Stingy with the spoils here, huh?
what? Fire, no. Gravity. Ah! No, I didn't get to put the... I didn't kill any of them! I did! I didn't. 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 Oh, come on now. This is my own fault. I'm fucking it up. I'm trying to plow through this last dungeon, which I shouldn't be doing. Wait, why are you- thought the enemies didn't respond. I'm confused. What's going on here? Valiant weapon. I don't even know if that's hitting it. I feel like it's not. Yeah, I don't feel like that's working at all. I actually don't think it's just doing anything. Yeah, I don't think that spell was doing shit. It's like the thing I already did to that sticks, so I don't have to worry about it again.
probably better just to stick with fire, honestly. Okay, that didn't work. Interesting. I don't think there's any way... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe... Give me one second. Double check what you're supposed to do here. a lot of shit to do here. I don't know how to get the Moogle house, though. Also, it turns out there's a fifth verse to that thing that I don't know yet. Oh, uh, that's cool. Oh. like, oh, well, I might as well just fuck it then. <laughs>
here's the tent. This place seems special. again. For fuck's sake, not again. Oh, not again! It's a numbers game, really. If there's more than one of them, they win. me out somewhere else. spot in the dungeon. I think I'm just going between the two same spots here.
Okay, we're back here. Before I know. I forgot to get there's a chest over there I haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, there's an enemy and a chest over there. I wonder how to get down there. I didn't want you to hold it. Well, I would be lying if I said I didn't immediately think that's something. That's what I walked past when I first came in the dungeon, too. Thanks for coming by, I appreciate it. I'm gonna stop right after this dungeon anyway. And there it is. Your crystal's element is now unknown. Awesome. So, that is the fabled fifth element right there. Uh, it removes any bonuses you get from the other ones, so I'll no longer be protected from freeze, flame, status ailments, or, or shock, but this now counts as all elements at once, which means I could now bring this through any Miasma stream, including the uh, the unknown one, uh, past, uh, Rebenda Terra. In other words, I never have to change the element again. It's, it can be this element for the rest of the game now. I'm very happy I figured that out. Like every color is kind of emitting out of this. Oh, I've been stopped. They can stop me completely. Shit. No, stop. Oh no, don't tell me they've caught me in the link here. There we go. Designed for mithril armor. But yeah, that uh, that is the big the big secret in this dungeon is that uh, chalice spot. I could still change it if I want to, but there's no reason to. Because first off, the elemental bonus you get from the other elements literally just only affects like level one spells. So if someone hits you with Blizzard, you'll still get frozen, if you, even if you have water. Okay, I gotta figure out how to bust this open. Let me just look this up. And yeah, I did miss a, uh... Hidden behind the treasure chest. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, there was one more, uh... Line to Gertie's poem involving, uh, casting Holy on that. Oh, 
find the treasure chest. Well, how do I get to that? Oh, I think you just have to hit him. Okay. Yeah. Stupid me. Star pendant. Another set complete. Congratulations. Dow Hattie's crystal. Hello. Hello. Another uh, Selkie. Mill Selkie. See the stamp card, damn it. Uh, considering that there are only one, two, three, four, five stamps left, and it looks like there are two, three sets left to finish, I'm guessing most of those slots are going to be the DLC characters that I'm never going to buy because I've never played another Crystal Chronicles game and I don't care about them. I think we've cleared the dungeon out. It's big, but it's not impossible to get through. Shadowing effect, I like that they managed to accurately uh, replicate whatever's being whatever pose you have. That's an engine. That ain't that ain't a pre-rendered effect. Where's the boss? Also, how many... I didn't get many artifacts in here, right? I got one. Wow.
not see this image. Oh. Uh, it turns out there's another half of this dungeon left still. Let me find the tent and jump in the, uh... So there's the tent. Okay, so going down to the quicksand pit down here will take me to the second spot. So this one... Down here, I think, is just the way back. Yeah, that's just the way back. Okay. That's a new enemy. spot that we don't need. But is that the other hold on. No. Dragon's whisker. That's new. Or go down quickly with it. Shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wasting a phoenix down. Four thunders I have now. 
goggle techniques, stone clear. So actually killing her in one hit almost seems pointless to use it because these work faster. where I am, honestly. Like, even looking at the map is just really confusing. going into circle now. Okay. Alright, we got this place cleared, I think.
Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one path I missed here. Yeah, what's that over there? Oh, wait a minute, I see. I see. Alright. We're pretty much done with this area. I just have to fight the boss and do one thing over here. I just realized this isn't a boss transition. <laughs> Yeah, so I kind of did cheat a bit to get the element, just because I didn't have that last verse of the poem, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not waiting another year to get that last piece, then to come back. Especially since I could start, I could already go to Veolu this year without it, so there's really no point in holding back. because it's almost four and I just like really don't want to wake anyone up uh, so I'll kill this boss and then we'll immediately stop afterwards and I'll probably pick this up tomorrow at some point Most of the enemies here would be weak to ice. Okay. 
killing them. Lion. I never figured out how to pronounce that word. That doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot of damage. range there? Yeah, it's about doing the same. Okay, I just wanted to check that there's nothing above, uh, gut. Bruh and gut. Really? Okay. That did no damage. All right. Doesn't fare much better. Really doesn't do well. All right, back to Firaga it or f yeah, Firaga, whatever. I guess. Oh, fuck. Stop dropping that. Alright. This is the right one. Where's the only one? Alright. I just think this is only cycle one. But again, this is supposed to be like the hardest normal boss in the game. Also, still almost gives me strength. Hopefully, one of the artifacts I picked up here makes it worthwhile. The truth is that this boss is like a prerequisite where you have to fight enemies for beforehand. It's the only boss like that so far. Hitting X. 
and done. Alright, every dungeon cleared on cycle one now. And three of them already cleared on cycle two. So I guess next time I will, uh... Well, there's actually a, a sequence of events I have to do now, uh, now that I've cleared this. So, uh, next time I stream it, I will be starting by going to Veolu to figure out what's wrong with the river. Fix that mess, probably do Veolu Sluice uh, cycle two. Then... I will immediately be going to Ravina Plains and going past that uh, Miasma stream with the unknown element, because that starts kind of essentially the final storyline of the game, past there. And uh, I think I could actually go to the final dungeon as soon as I go there, but um, I'm not going to do it yet because I'm definitely not strong enough for it. I believe the recommended stats for each, for, for everything, it's like 70 in each stat before you go there. So they really do want you to go to every dungeon and do everything over on all three cycles first. Like, if I can't beat a dungeon on cycle three, I'm not gonna be able to beat the final dungeon, even though it's only, like, a single cycle dungeon. Hail Moogle at your service, Kapo! Kapo! Here you go, Kapo! It's a letter from Eleanor. I hear stories about you from Amadati all the time. According to him, you possess an energy that defies all logic. Perhaps you're even more of an oddball than Amadati. I will take that strange liquid. That's right. Here is... Doesn't have a lot of... Here's an iron. No. I've got your reply, Capo. So long, Capo. Not bad. 222. So let's see. Strength, defense, strength, magic, gain another heart. Gain another heart, defense, magic. So, uh, Dragon Whisker's only magic plus one. So Rune Bell is what I should go for next, but I really need to uh, take the Star Pendant while I can. So that means I'll have seven hearts now. So I'm missing one heart, one pocket. Two rings. I believe the blizzard rings actually found in the desert. I see. Maybe not. Fail Luce Lewis. Oh, okay. Can also be found in, in the Griffin by the Moogle Nest. And then the Life Ring is from the Conal Karak boss if I have 302 plus points. Lenari Desert. Here I am in the Lenari Desert. A sea of sand stretches in every direction. Buried treasure? I fear I wouldn't even find a mer tree in this desolation. The legendary treasure had to wait. I fought the antlion and collected the drop of myrrh. My, I'm a long way from home. I mean, I got the legendary element. Oh, you can't actually change your element to it from the map. You have to go in there.
I'm wondering if there's a uh, journal entry for that. Crystal's element remains unknown. It's actually highlighting the text in white, but since the text is already white, you can't see that. Interesting that I make no mention of that uh, element. Anyway, uh, I am just gonna stop here because I don't have time to like... It's, all, it's way after four already. So let's save. Cool. 17 hours, 50 minutes. 15 minutes. So next time I'll go to Veolu, and then we'll check out what's beyond the mystery stream. And then we'll, we'll continue with cycle two of the dungeons. Anyway, uh, you all have a good evening. Thanks for coming. I might be doing more than one stream tomorrow. I don't know yet. Or today, rather, because it's after 4 a.m. We'll see. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. See you soon. Later.